Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for my reaction to the second episode of Heartstopper. I really really enjoyed the first one. Uh, I I don't have anything to say besides the fact that I'm glad that we, we finally get rid of Ben and I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the characters because Tara and Darcy are still not here. Um, we had barely any Tao and Elle in it. I don't think Elle even spoke. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong but I don't remember her even speaking. No, I think she spoke actually to the teacher. But anyway, I really really want to see the Paris Squad dynamic so I'm hoping we'll get to that soon. Um, from what I can see from the image preview of the episode, it's going to be the snow scene. So there will be tears, <laughs> probably, because it's one of my favorite scenes in the comics. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go! I'm hearing drums. Yes! His room is perfect, by the way. What are you smiling at? Just a picture of a boy? <gasps> Nelly! <laughs> He's a card, definitely. <laughs> he is so in love already. Oh. Oh. That's horrible. But that's a really nice way of like showing it. Oh, I love the editing for this. This was genius, honestly. I'm surprised about the blue scene we just seen. Um, I think that was a great way of like showing it, and you could feel the anxiety of it and how stressed. Nick was for Charlie and how stressed Charlie was and I just yeah like I, I, I like this editing the quick like drums solo thingy um, and how it represents how stressed Nick is by messaging him I think that's uh, that's that's good storytelling mm. tell him the truth Charlie no you're not I'm happy. <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be gushing about that dog. Okay? Nick is just the best person in the entire universe. Ew, no, we're gonna get flashbacks of Ben. Ew. So I um, heard about you coming out last time. I'm just pausing just to say something real quick. It always felt weird to me, and I don't actually know if that's how it is in real life. I guess it is, but it always felt really strange. So you hear a kid in like your year or younger than you is getting out, and your first thought is like, oh, I finally have someone to make out with. That's my question. Did Ben actually like Charlie? Like, was he attracted to him, or was Charlie just... A boy he could make out with and like test the water of his bisexuality or whatever like what was the point i <sighs> that's really brave do not bullshit him i'm ben you're trash <laughs> mm. yeah we just interview friend perhaps He did not just say that. Please do not send that. Oh gosh. Is it like trying to know if Nick is straight? Yeah, that's what it was, okay. Nice one then. Do not send a red art. Oh my god. Charlie? Whoa, he got way more girls than I thought. I see Darcy, I see Tara. Oh, that is so sweet. Look, it's half ten in next week. How about you promise me you'll try to make at least one new friend before then? Okay, maybe. She's gonna get at least 
five friends. Do I know how to count? Yeah, I do. No, I don't. Just go talk to them. I'm sure they're gonna be nice. Focus on your school, please. <laughs> He's straight, Charlie. Like, you only need to glance in to see that he's a massive heterosexual. Can you shut the fuck up? Masculine guys can be gay. Yeah. And no offense, but you're not exactly the authority on working out who is and isn't gay. And bisexual people are cis? Yes, they do. I know he's straight, you told me. So you need to get over him. I've always felt really, really ambivalent towards my feelings with Tao at this point in the story because on one hand I understand where he's, where he's coming from like his whole life is suddenly changing and he's scared of losing his friends and he's also really scared for Charlie telling him again and again like don't get your hopes up don't get feelings for that guy if he's never going to be into you and he doesn't want Charlie to be into that position he was last year when he was getting bullied and stuff he's just he just want to protect him and that's sweet but just sometimes you need to shut up sit watch and mind your own business why don't i stop liking someone specifically a straight guy uh the question for the ages i thought you had a boyfriend no no he was horrible this is someone else wow being a teenager is terrible <laughs> you know when i was a teenager and had a crush on a straight boy i just repressed it and suffered that doesn't sound very healthy i need a realistic solutions he's he's a really good friend i'm afraid you're just gonna have to suffer then <laughs> Yes, please become friends. Tara said you had no friends. I don't say that. <laughs> Thank you, Darcy. Thank you. Truman was just hell for me, so. I mean, it was hell for almost everyone, but like, especially me. And I kept getting suspended because of my hair length. Hair length? Yeah, they have this stupid chin length or above wall. Ew. <laughs> have you two been friends for a long time? Mm. Best girl pals. Best girl pals? <laughs> <laughs> oh. My little Safi card is so happy. She's Nelly. Oh my god, she's so cute. Yes, she is. I wish I had a dog. My parents don't like animals. You should come around my house and meet her. Every on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is so sweet, but the way Charlie is looking at him, it is so obvious that he has a crush on him. Like. I wonder if Nyx is aware of it and like pretends he doesn't see it or like <laughs> you going? Found the friends. Taos. <laughs> no, his his name's Nick. Is my mm -hmm. too short? It looks the same. But is it okay? It looks the same. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Have fun at Nick's. They just nailed Tori. <gasps> He's shaking, baby. Hey. 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 Uh, this is Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Oh. You're so adorable. She is. You got a haircut. Um, is it? <laughs> is it bad? No, no, you look. It looks great. If you manage to like notice that he had a haircut when like Tori said it looks the same you dip into your feelings my dude like you're already crushing so hard you let me win one win. time you've already won like five or six games yeah, and i'm going easy on you no my favorite character to play at mario kart is buzzer you get to be good at real sports i get to be good at fake ones. no you're just good at everything no i'm not you are you're a proper little nerd i'm not Let's see, you're good at video games, literally all school subjects, but especially maths, playing the drums, befriending dogs, <laughs> and you are good at sports, like you run so fast. Shut up! <laughs> you know it's true, get off me! Oh my god! The sweatshirt! This is the end, he's never gonna find that sweatshirt again. It is so obvious that it wasn't really snowing that day, but... I don't give a shit. Oh, 
about the song? <laughs> Nearly is the star. Oh. I wish we could hear what they're talking about, even though that's not the point of the scene. I don't know if you can see it, but I have tears in my eyes. Charlie seems like a lovely boy. When did you meet him? Uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, he's in my form. He's very different to your other friends, isn't he? You seem much more yourself around him. Mm-hmm. Do I? You do. Hmm. Your friends suck, Nick. Send it, send it because Imogen, because Imogen comes. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely trapped in someone. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Now he's never gonna send that text, is he? <sighs> Please don't get stressed over this. Nikki. I wanted to talk to you about Nick actually. <gasps> Tao. Can you see? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You know how I thought you were straight? Yeah. Well, I've kind of been feeling like maybe yep. he isn't. Like he might like me back. Obviously, like I'm not getting my hopes up, but I just think maybe there's a chance. Maybe? Well, Nick likes a girl. Oh. Yeah, he said that Nick's single, but he's super interested in this girl from girls' school. No, he's what? not. Tower Jones. He's no, he's not into Tower Jones. It is not. This was years ago. They are good friends, though, like. As your token straight friend, it's my duty to remind you that sometimes people are straight. It's an unfortunate fact of life. But we don't know if she actually likes Nick back. Are you kidding me? Like, they're just passing a super copley photo of Sharon and Darcy. I don't know which straight people you're seeing, Tao, but I do not see them. In this room or on this phone, I'm sorry. Do you know a girl called Tara Jones? Yeah. Can you ask her if she likes Nick Nelson? Nick Nelson? You might as well give up right now. He's the straightest person I have ever seen. Thank no, you. he's not. I'm fine. It's honestly fine. I'm just being an idiot. No, you're not. Okay, look. If and only if I get the chance, I'll ask her. Thank you. I make no promises. While you're here, let's just hang out. Oh, yeah, it's like he's me. Tell. If he sees the opportunity for a hug, Aww. he goes for it. Everyone gets into bed. Oh, I hate when they do that. Can we be a group of three? Oh my god, yes, please. Delta's pronunciation is horrendous. <laughs> uh, is this Ukrainian or French saying? This was terrible. French is my main language, and that was terrible. Not the pronunciation, but just the phrase she said. That's not the correct verb. Uh, oui, un petit ami. Oui, j'ai une petite oh gosh. Uh, I think saying it makes it feminine, so you'd be saying you have a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? Sorry, I'm definitely straight. Like, I only like girls. <sighs> you should probably stop being friends if you feel like that. Charlie. What? You just spaced out. What's up? Do you want to come around my house? <gasps> Is she gonna see them kiss? I was just admiring Tara's hands. <laughs> Cause like mine gets super gusty in the cold and hasn't been done. So. I'm sorry if I've got totally the wrong idea here, but are you two like? Dating? Yes, they are. Don't tell anyone, okay? Friends! <laughs> Only a few of our friends know, but I think you're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs> Aww. Also, hers are really soft. That's the gayest excuse I've heard about <laughs> <laughs> You've befriended the school lesbians. Yes! <laughs> we had the word lesbians. <laughs> you're terrible. I'm trying. Yeah, watch out, let me help. Oh, please. 
That's the way the movie's hard. I can tell you that. Cheating, though. <laughs> he was asking for his hand to be held. Let's be honest there. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I needed to pause because those last scenes were a lot to process for me. I'm trying really hard not to start giggling like a maniac. But that line, you look so cuddly by the way. Ah! Cuddle him then. Do it. Do I? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That is the purest thing I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think he is either. The name of the song, no. Oh, is it going to be the scene where we Nick freaks out and like Google stuff? No. What does it mean? If, yeah. Then we got tattoos by the code. Ciao. They took so many pictures, are you kidding me? Netflix, Alice, whoever, if we do not get this, those pictures in high quality by the end of the week, I'm suing, we deserve all those pictures, are you kidding me? This is such a boyfriend pic, I wanna cry! <laughs> oh my god. It's okay, Nikki. It is the googling scene. <laughs> oh, that's how it ends. Okay, bold choice. Um, that episode was even better than the first one, which is only logical because I. As the more we're going to get into the story, the more I'm going to be feeling all types of different emotions. Um, I'm really glad we got to see Tara and Darcy and that we get to have them as an official couple by the, the second episode. I'm not the biggest fan of the miscommunication trope, so it would have been annoying for me if this lasted for longer than it did last. So I'm glad. And um, I really... I just... <sighs> I don't have words. Like I said, it. I, I wanted to say like it's like they took the scenes from the comics and make it into real life, but that's yeah, that's technically what they did. But their chemistry is amazing, and they're just so sweet and so cute, and I love them so much. I'm, I'm so happy right now. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, you can also leave a comment down below. I'm looking forward to knowing your thoughts about this episode. Was it everything you ever wanted and hoped for? Because I'm super satisfied by it personally. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want to scream about Nick, Charlie, Young Royals, whatever, anything gay. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!